Miss International. Uh, <laughs> well, you can do it better. Give it up. For you. Jail. He told me that in jail, when you go, 
they pass through first the crime you committed, right? Yeah. They give you respect according to the crime you committed. If you there's a petty thief, you are not respected. If you did okay, senior respect. <laughs> Everybody will be telling your story, right? You know, oh, I raped somebody, that's why I'm going to play six years. Somebody will be like, oh, I robbed some bank. Somebody I murdered somebody. What would I say? I'm doing 25 years because of love. <laughs> How much do you think they will rape me after that? <laughs> and I know too, me, I know I'm a very skinny guy. When they start raping me, I'll resist first. But after the first slap, <laughs> I'll be like, Charlie, where can I get the room? <laughs> Make this quick. That is funny as in Singapore. Um, anybody know about uh, this country? Where is Chen Kang, right? North Korea, right? You guys here, they have that crazy president. So North Korea, this is the fact, right? North Korea has 28 government approved haircuts. <laughs> haircuts, haircuts. They have 28 government approved. You know what that means? It means that the government of North Korea is really invested in people's haircuts. Yeah. 28 government approved haircuts. They are looking for that 29 haircut, <laughs> which will be legal. Because it will be legal to have the 29 haircut. Think about this. In North Korea, there's a special unit dedicated to inspecting people's haircuts. And then when they see you, they'll be just referencing. Uh, which number haircut? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this one, number 22, okay. And this one, look like the four popa. Here you go, go to jail. <laughs> that is the process to a North Korean accent, right? <laughs> Originally, I'm from Turkey, right? I like it in Accra. But Accra is a very fascinating place for somebody like me. Because in Accra, sometimes you walk in, you see a wall, right? Written on the wall. They'll be like, oh, this land is not for sale. <laughs> and then they leave their number. <laughs> <laughs> to call who? <laughs> Sometimes I want to call. Just to double check. I said, hello, good evening. Yes, uh, please, is this the land which is not for sale? <laughs> oh, thank you, and God bless you. <laughs> They are not, right? Yeah. Think about it, like, now they've changed everything. First of all, so all along, did they know that we can work from home? <laughs> they knew we can work from home all this time, but they just wanted you to waste transport. Yeah. <laughs> work from home, everybody is working from home. Coronavirus came, changed everything. Now, people are just, you know, no mask. Everybody's wearing no mask. No mask. One thing I noticed about no mask is, no mask helps you to brush your teeth every day, you know? <laughs> because if you don't like brushing your teeth and you wear that thing, talk, it hits you right in the nose. <laughs> so every time you see somebody with a nose mask here, yeah, it's not always for flex. He's running away from himself. <laughs> Coronavirus time, you go on Facebook, everybody's a businessman now, right? Everybody's a businessman. I know my friend has no business acumen whatsoever. All of a sudden, he sells G strings. He knows the sizes and everything too. <laughs> Only coronavirus can do that too. But my favorite part about coronavirus now is how simple things like yeah. sneezing. Remember sometimes, maybe last year, you remember when you sneeze, people were like, bless you. You have, uh, you ever have some of these, uh, these friends who come to your house, right? If you have like a big compound in your house, you have friends who come 
Then they all sing. <laughs> this is your house, eh? If you break here, close here, break here, small, put door for here, you think I do sell food there for three. I said, thank you, Ara, for any, any, any Christians here? <laughs> I don't go to church. Some people might go to church tomorrow. I don't. I don't go to church often. I don't go to church, and guess why? I don't go to church because you know I can't afford it. <laughs> the word of God is outside my price range. <laughs> Because I come from the old school. Remember the old school, right? You could go to church, give offering, wait and take your change. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be standing right next to the offering. We'll say, ah, yeah, yeah, sister. <laughs> this change. These days, you can't get your change from some of these new, new pastors. You know, one-man church. You can you like, go and get your change from someone like Bumigas? <laughs> Let's shut you up with three words. Or don't push on you. Ghana is hard, right? Yeah. Ghana is hard. Graduates don't have jobs, Charlie. People are doing things they never read. Very strange. Ghana is so hard. This is how I know Ghana is hard. Ghana is so hard. The other day I saw a Rasta man selling Indomie. <laughs> With the rasta and everything, no, no, Jesse, tell him to be doing brisk business. Wow. Say, yo, you want in post and the end of it. That's when I say, ta ta. Too many madmen in this country. Whose job is it to keep madmen in check? You know, because madmen are doing anything in this country. You know, the other day I saw a madman masturbating in public, <laughs> and the way he was doing it too, I knew it wasn't his first time. You know, <laughs> he wasn't doing like that. You know? and this is different. Mm -hmm. This is a different feeling. No, he was doing like yeah. This was my fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Too, you know. 
I am not taking any win for Amnesia. Because if I go and I don't remember anything, I'm going to ask the guy, the guy will be like, what's the name of the draft? Amnesia, what did you think was going to happen? Thank you. I see. Let me do a... Uh, uh, any any uh, Jehovah's Witness here? Yeah. Jehovah's Witness yeah. here. So, check because I can't, can't afford it, right? So one of my friends told me to go to Jehovah's Witness. Because you know Jehovah's Witness, they don't force you to pay tithes, <laughs> offer tree, nothing. So I went to Jehovah's Witness. Actually, it's not true. They force you to pay. <laughs> you just don't pay in money for. You pay in kilometers. <laughs> 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 You'll be walking from Taifa to Asaima, <laughs> sharing a way. One of my friends, when he got angry halfway, he said, Is this a church or a gifted class? <laughs> Thank you, good night. Thank you all for coming. We are going back for 15 minutes.